No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of but a half a century. Stated in these terms, we know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of them, advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals to cover them. Then about 10 years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his caves to construct other kinds of shelter. Only five years ago, man learned to write and use a cart with wheels. Christianity began less than two years ago. The printing press came this year. And then less than two months ago, during this whole 50 year span of human history, steam it. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win on the other side. I think the momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my uh, my two friends here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and, and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching but, but nothing specific and just so quiet and to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket but it was so quiet up there for me personally and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and off for a momentous uh, event. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T-minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. 
seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. I think certainly to go as far away as the uh, moon and look back on the Earth uh, certainly does uh, affect your perspective. Uh, and then when you see it, tiny as your thumbnail held out in front of you at arm's length, uh, that sort of gets your attention. A beautiful sight, tiny, pristine, blue and white, uh, very fragile looking object, uh, shining like a beautiful little headlight out there in the black velvet of space. It does change your perspective. It makes you think that we have to take better care of this little fragile entity because it is fragile. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, slightly less than one minute to ignition and everything is go. Factor Apollo 11, go.
I'm going to step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Yes, the uh, surface is fine and powdery. I can, I can kick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere to, in fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the uh, to the sole and sides of my boots. I only go in. Uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads and the fine sandy particles. Hey, this is Houston, we're copying. Um, there seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 16G that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. 